And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube but for our last run with Braum. It is going to be the legendary run now. Braum has, we have succeeded in normal and hard mode and then it took us a couple of tries in heroic mode. Um, we succeeded there and now we're on legendary mode. So uh, legendary, let's see what's added. Aside from everything that you've experienced previously, enemies now start with an extra mana gem. Crazy. So they start with two mana at the beginning, uh, you know, at round one and everything like that. So this is going to be um, definitely the hardest one. So because of that, what we did, so, you know, we're going to be playing Braum. And so we kind of cheated a little bit, something that we didn't do in the other modes. But what we did here is at the very beginning, you start with a passive power. And I did, you, you do have the option to retire the run, which is behind the camera um, down here. Um, and so, you, you know, you could start if your three powers aren't very good, retire. On the other modes, I just re-rolled if we didn't like the powers, and I used a re-roll right away at the beginning. But with Legendary, we did go ahead and make sure that we just found at least a, a one that we liked uh, good enough. You know, it's maybe not the very best one. As you saw with us with the Heroic, we had the Little Buddies. I think that's the best one. I love the Little Buddies. But um, we got a Nature's Revenge here, and that's good enough. I think this, this should uh, give us a good fighting chance. So whenever you gain the attack token summon a sapling so let's go ahead and go with that all right we're gonna go ahead and start our our run let's see how we do with braum in legendary okay um We'll mulligan the Wild Claw, but I guess we'll keep the others. So this is the, the next day. You can probably tell, I guess I'm wearing something different than I wore yesterday. <laughs> because we did the three runs with Historic yesterday, we ran out of time. So now this is uh, the next morning for us with uh, trying out Legendary. Of course, I didn't want to trade my Omen Hawk for the Ephemeral. Good, 1 6 Braum. We're just keeping that high life total. Using these vile feasts on my little saplings. My poor little saplings. Hmm. I don't know if I've seen them have fading memories before. I guess it's only two more damage. Another day, another fight. We make quick work of you. All right, going for the win. There we go. All right, first round in the books. Now we get a new champion. Hopefully, it's a good champion. LeBlanc? I haven't seen LeBlanc before. LeBlanc, Thorn of the Rose, Bloody Business? Hmm. Mask Mother, Spirit Leech, Kindred. The Tom Kench isn't we're not we're not going Tom Kench. Does LeBlanc die too often? I don't know. I could see like Le you know getting some some nice power ups on the LeBlanc and that being pretty awesome, you because know, I do like the you know I do like that's a three mana champion because we have Braum at four mana. Kindred could be cool, but that's kind of slow. Yeah, 
You won your Talia Heroic today because of LeBlanc. Ooh. Okay. So let's go with LeBlanc. Let's let's give it a try. We'll be you know we'll be able to keep our rerolls, which are very valuable. Let's see what happens. Okay. We got a couple of people. Yes, this is legendary difficulty. Yes. A couple people said LeBlanc can be very good, so let's give it a try. But well, we got our LeBlanc. Let's mulligan mulligan. I don't really want to keep another three mana card whenever we already have LeBlanc as a three mana card. Okay. Yep, stop. There we go. Alright, I'm passing. Wow. They're going pretty aggro. I think the Mist Wraith is more important to kill than the Doom Beast. I guess that Doom Beast does have quick attack. But the Mist Wraith with the Fearsome, like I can't block with Braum. Or I can block Doom Beast with Braum. Down to 20, we've taken uh, 10 damage. Alright, so we need 3 damage to level up LeBlanc. So that will level up LeBlanc. Pretty good about being able to stop them for the rest of the run. Not taking any more damage. Yeah, if we do get Braum to five power, we could, you know, could mirror image Braum. Could be pretty cool. You know, if I would have used take cards and stuff like that on on Braum. This gotta be, yeah, it's gotta be game. Okay, so round two done. So far, so good. So we got 23 health left for Thrash. Is that what we said? We got, do we have 23 or Kordak, do you say that you have 23? I know Kordak, I think you're going alongside with me, aren't you? Okay, let's, we could give LeBlanc quick attack. That could be cool. All right, so these are all like pretty bad, right? I mean, I guess Spell Shield on LeBlanc. I guess that's the best one, is Spell Shield on LeBlanc. I don't know if I want to use a reroll on this. That's the thing. The barrier and the quick attack. You know, quick attack Braum. That doesn't matter. 
Yeah, so we'll just go Spell Shield on LeBlanc. That's not the worst, but that's not the best. I definitely want, like, the minus one cost or, you know, buffing it up or, you know, tough or overwhelm or, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. But Exactly. So we'll go with the Spell Shield for LeBlanc because whenever we do get to Piltoverns on, when we get to PNZ, that's an important thing to have. Now, I mean, Screeching Dragon's a great card. I could see taking the Screeching Dragon, to be honest. But that's a 5-drop. I usually like having cheaper stuff, but we are an Avalanche deck. I think I'm going to take the Screeching Dragon. Let's do it. I'm selecting the card. Did I take Confirm, I guess? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so now we got three mana Sivir. There you go. Yeah, we basically have three mana Sivir now. With LeBlanc's just Sivir. Uh, let's see. Bloody business actually could be pretty important. Let's keep it. That take heart with, with LeBlanc is... I don't know, it's interesting. So they get all their spell mana to start with. I thought they were supposed to get a mana gem. They just get all the spell mana to start with. Question is, if I made a new deck, is it good to go straight to ranked match to learn it or normal or AI? It's really whatever you're comfortable with, to be honest. There's not a wrong, wrong choice there. Um, yeah, it's re really whatever you're comfortable with and, and um, you know, what your goal is with the deck, like what you're trying to learn with it and all that kind of stuff. So they're going to get the 4-3 no matter what I do, really. Well, the 2-1 attacking now allows the this thing to kill the Curse Keeper. But... Get another two, two, one. There you are. Time to make an appearance. Smoke and mirrors. Now that doesn't seem like the best block. Okay, maybe that was a great block. Genius block. So that was three mana scuttle guys. Never mind. Block's not so good anymore. <laughs> um, Bull Elnuk or Braum? This Bull Elnuk is a 5-6. It's above above average. But Braum is on the job. My life total is going to... This is the boss fight. Thresh is you know, the third of the Shadow Isles. So my life total does fully heal after this. So I can, you know, take a little bit of damage. I don't have to worry about the next stage. It's all about this stage. Four seven. This we fight. This is the fun part. My move. All right. What do you need to level up? I can't. I can't read that. Twelve. Okay. So you need three. Three. Leveled up. Gloves off. My shield is my sword. This is fun. Yes. I don't know what could be better. You only need three to level up. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is fine. Sorry. This will be fine. I, 
Yeah. Okay. The black rose blooms once more. As you know, like they could have they had a free block over here on the 3-3. Three, three. But decided not to go with that to save some damage, save some life. I didn't have the two extra mana, I couldn't do the mirror image also. If I didn't play the 6-1, I could have. And the 6-2. Alright, just gonna stun that. Darling, you are dressed to kill. <laughs> Is it really so obvious? Simpleton. Level up, Rom. That's rude. A perfect puppet. So we got two spell shield LeBlancs. Uh, I guess they did have an ally die this round. We'll stun. Yeah, wild claw. And there we go. Okay, we're through Thresh. Let's see what we got. We get new power each time we beat it. Alright, I... Flexible game plan, start of game, draw one, no. All right, we're going to take Sorcery. Refill your spell man every single round. Definitely very good. Um, we don't have, like, the most spells right now, but we'll get more spells later. But really, that's basically just Avalanche and Bloody Business. But still, getting getting three free man every single round. That will help out. So let's go ahead and go with Sorcery. So we haven't even used a... Haven't even used a reroll yet. Oh, man. Oh, man. I like both of these, but Troll Gifts with Braum is incredible. The thing is, we don't really have anything else with Regeneration. But I do love Troll Gifts with Braum. Yeah, because now now we get that, that three free spell mana every single round, right? So like these are both free, basically. Um, but the plus three, plus two can be super valuable in different scenarios. We probably should take the Sharpened Resolve. That's probably going to be more valuable overall. Yeah. Because we get the free mana with the Sharpened Resolve. Okay, so good. <clears throat> Very good. Um, good choices so far. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how our run's going so far. I haven't even used a reroll. Let's see. Mulligan, Mulligan. Just Mulliganing five and six mana cards. I wish this was a permanent buff, though, not just a this round buff, but I guess the Sharpened Resolve on the Sapling could be really cool also. Their Omen Ox have Challenger? Well, that will just not do. I know I'm going to have to trade with this entry eventually. It could be this turn if they attack. Right, the whole vulnerable thing. Alright, that's fine. Places to go. People to be. Look out for Reavers! But it just 
you know, they didn't draw a card here for a little bit, right? Just kind of slowed them down as far as drawing a card goes. So that thing's going to be a 5-6. I could do the, you know, Sharpen Resolve plus Bloody Business this turn. I don't know if they would have, like, a Frostbite spell. But they, that they would be able to stop that. A chill in the air. Where'd they go off to? Like, does this... Does this person play Brittle Steel? <laughs> I go bloody business, they brittle steel, that's a problem. So I guess I'm just gonna go with this thing. I am everywhere. I am everyone. Oh right, spell shield. Right. Spell shield. That's a thing. I don't know this bloody business, like when I'm supposed to play it. I got some big Elnux. Dang, that's a big Elnux. My light for Avarosa. Looks good. So yes, this LeBlanc's gonna die, but we'll get it. You know, we have another LeBlanc in hand. So that's fine. The best lives are beautiful. And this one gets plus one plus one from the Omenhawk. Better to do this. Haha, they did have brittle steel. Classic misdirection. Classic. Surprised to see me. I'm gonna take a little bit of overwhelm damage. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if the bloody on the the dragon if it would have killed the the thing that I just tried to kill, but if it would have, then I definitely could have done bl bloody business on the dragon. I don't know. I kind of did it on... No, stop. Sorry. I kind of did it on the LeBlanc, like, with the spell shield as safest, but they're... I don't think they even had mana or anything. Yeah, it's all fine.
I guess the 4-2 is the least valuable. We have some wild claws. Okay, so our LeBlanc Braum deck. LeBlanc has been good. LeBlanc really has been good. So do we get a champion item this this round, I think? I think now we get the champion item. This is a promising run so far, for sure. But the PNZ ones are going to be really tough. Um, Lissandra with Challenger? It's like the weirdest thing ever. Sigil of Malice when cast, heal your Nexus 3. Like, this could just be good as, you know, like, removal and 2 damage. And then Nexus healing also. Um, remember, we get free spell mana all the time anyway, so that Sigil of Malice costs, like, 1 mana to begin with. Or if, you know, once we get Reputation, then 0. I don't know if we really need Lissandra. <laughs> That's true. Lissandra with, you know, we do have the Sharpened Resolve for Lissandra, for Lissandra Challenger. And it's tough. I already, have a, <clears throat> I already have a lot of other three mana cards, though. LeBlanc, Stefan, Thorn of the Rose. Um, we could use a, a reroll, but I don't... I, I think these are... I think both Lissandra and Sigil Malice are very acceptable. I don't think we really have to reroll either. Like, I think they're both pretty good, but I'm not sure which one's better. I may go with the Sigil, honestly. Win cast, heal your Nexus 3. And just getting more spells. I think our units are pretty good. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the Sigil. Ooh. Omen Hawk when someone draw a card. I like it. I want more Omen Hawks anyway. This one with the regeneration, if only we would have taken that uh, troll gifts. That could have been cool, but. Yeah, let's get let's get more omen hawks. I'm always for more omen hawks. Get some more hawks. <clears throat> Alright, Frail Yord number two. Mulligans. They actually have something that costs eight plus mana. I'm not sure. Places to go, people to be. Destruction feeds my fire. I'm ready, baby. All right, so we got the elixir of iron out of their hands. Now they don't get sa save the ember maiden. That's very good. Doesn't look like... No, yeah, they don't even have anything that costs 8 plus mana. But <clears throat> that's not going to stop them from ramping. Kill you. You. I could just do this. But that doesn't kill that. I kind of want to sharpen resolve the sapling. I'm going to do that. Okay. 
Perfect. So now this took didn't take damage. And yeah, this is looking good so far. Reputation's at three out of four for the sigil. We want to cast the sigil before the round is up. Because it does heal our Nexus 3. I don't know why I'm not doing the dragon. I'm just I just don't do the dragon, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still not doing the dragon. A six seven dragon. Let's do this. A perfect puppet. I don't want to use that. Surprised to see me. So that's fifteen. So I really hope they don't open attack. I don't think they'll open attack. Um, but yeah, let's, so let's... So casting that... that Because that was a LeBlanc sigil, right? Or is that just a regular sigil? I guess maybe that was a regular sigil. Okay, cool. Got a LeBlanc sigil. Perfect. I think the other one was a LeBlanc si sigil. I don't know. No, the other one was a regular one. Okay. Perfect draw there. Helped save me some life. Because they were going to open attack and not let me frostbite. Which would have been sad. Battle Fury, when cast, shuffle two copies of me into your deck and they cost one mana. That is enticing. Might, when cast, cast me again on the same targets. Oh, that is even more enticing. And then Unraveled Earth, I don't care. So, because might because again, we get the three free spell mana, so might goes perfectly with that spell mana, but then might with um like I'm taking might here. Might with LeBlanc is awesome. But then even like with like the mirror image, right? Like you can might first and get the plus six, plus zero overwhelm, and then mirror image and get another one. Okay, LeBlanc can have Challenger now. When you cast a spell, reduce my cost by one. Eh, don't really need that. All right, so we're going to have LeBlanc cast Challenger. Let's get more LeBlancs. Man, are we going to do this whole this whole run without a, a single reroll? We may do this whole run without a single reroll. It's been crazy. Well, we're going to mulligan. I guess I keep Rom. I 
yeah, good question. What, what's my strategy on the Heimer bots? I don't know. We're going to kind of see what happens. We do have Avalanche, <clears throat> which can help out at different times. All right, we're going to go ahead and kill this Weirding Stones. It's giving them that extra mana. And that's our first strike towards Reputation. So this is Edwani, this is a boss fight. This land is Fortunately, that thing's a 4-2, so it doesn't die to my avalanche. So we take 4 here. I could Elixir of Iron and save the Omen Hawk, but then the Omen Hawk's just a 1-1, one, one and... I'm just, I'm just going to save Elixir of Iron for this other stuff. Get him LeBlanc. Forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. My move. All right, our, our LeBlanc is pretty nice. <laughs> it's usually a 5 2, but you know, we got the Omen Hawk bonus on it, so 6 3. Spell Shield, Quick Attack Challenger. Uh, we, we got Might. Our, the new card that we got was Might. Um, but it also Might is like double Might. It gets cast again. Okay, uh, I guess, wait, I could just do this. So you're at 7, so this would be 13. I guess I let them play something else because I have all these like challengers and stuff. Let's play this bull element. Let's let them play another blocker. Okay, so now, so that's 13, 15 leveled up. This looks good, and I'm gonna. So I could, I could sharpen. I thought about sharpen resolving the sapling and then killing their four four. <clears throat> but it's just a four four. I'm going to uh, take heart the Brom instead. Yeah, and then for between rounds, we got the power of giving LeBlanc Challenger. Dwani had Fury. I refuse. So if I do start with Mirror Image, they do get to Sejuani. But then again, if I Mirror Image to LeBlanc, LeBlanc has... Um, no, nah, it just doesn't make sense really to do that, to Mirror Image LeBlanc, right? We just attack. Yeah, I think we just attack. Okay, sweet. Second boss down. Now the hard part. PNZ is definitely the difficult region. We're going to have turrets. We're going to have um, high robots with the turrets. And then, uh, well, the foundry. The foundry is tough. And then finally, Victor. When you summon an ally, give it challenger this round. That's not a bad power, but it's not it's not that good of a power. All right, I think this is where we're going to use our first reroll. All right, first reroll. I would take challenger out of these, but 
Uh, we already have, like, our both of our champions already have Challenger. Well, this one didn't even change. Black Market Discount. I don't even, what's this? Okay, oh, that's just reduced the cost of the most expensive card in hand by one each round. That's not that great. When you summon a 5 plus power unit, it strikes the weakest enemy. I think that sounds pretty good with LeBlanc. I don't know about y'all. But that does sound pretty good. Yeah, I think that sounds pretty good with LeBlanc. We're going to do it. And I have a lot, you know, like these things like Screeching Dragon Bull, I'm like these have four power, but we have the three Omen Hawks that can kind of help that out. That sounds like a pretty sweet power. Um, wow. And I'm going to Twin Shadows the LeBlanc. <laughs> so that whenever we play LeBlanc, we get another one. So we have another big quick attack uh, challenger. Yeah, like that sounds pretty great. And get more more LeBlancs because we want we want more LeBlancs because of our five plus power also. Dude, this all right, our our LeBlanc deck is sweet. Oh man. And and then yeah, and then it will strike also, because it'll be another summon. So we'll have both of them enter and strike. And so that means they just level basically level up whenever you play LeBlanc. Okay. <clears throat> Um, I kind of want to keep all of this. Whoa, we got a donation. There you go. I asked you how to get out of gold, took your advice, now I'm in diamonds. So I want to say thank you. Well, that's so kind of you. Thank you so much there. I really appreciate that. With that, with that purple text, I couldn't quite see who that was. Let me uh, check over on Streamlabs. The Ninten Goons. The Ninten Goons. Thank you, Goons. There you go. Thank you so much, Goons. You get a good cheersy mode in here or something. Oh, I don't have a cheersy mode. We got a high plate emo. Thank you so much. That was really nice of you. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that, that has has helped you out. Okay, so obviously we need LeBlanc. This is me kind of being greedy of keeping all of these cards, which I'm going to do. And I'm hoping that we have LeBlanc, you know, after we play the Omen Hawks. Aw, we got it right away. Because remember, we're drawing extra cards from the Foundry. Omen Hawk has play this, play this draw card. So, like, we're going to be drawing more cards. I should have attacked first. I should have just done this and attacked first. They wouldn't have got that 4-4 jump wall. But you know what? We're going to be perfectly fine. Not going to lie. We're going to be perfectly fine. See, there we go. There's a buffed up LeBlanc. There's a double buff, buff LeBlanc. All right, there we go. There's our one, 7-4. All right, so we're going to take some damage from this attack. Take five. We're going to clear the board. And so I guess whenever whenever the ephemeral one strikes, it does die. So you don't get to challenge with it. I guess that's kind of a bummer. Ooh, the black rose remembers. Oh, that one also strikes, so it just goes away? Okay, maybe those powers don't really work really well together. So seven. Yeah, it's going to be good with multiple units, yep. But with the one unit. Yeah, it'll still be, you know, like multiple removal spells. But we basically, we just don't get to pick. We don't get the challenger. I think we're... I think the, our LeBlancs are still going to be pretty busted and we're going to be just fine. 
All right, cool. That Sigil Malice will be able to heal us three. It's got the health potion on it. Done six damage. Now let's let this happen. Nothing personal. I feel like keep going after. Th cool. I keep going after that thing. All right, put more LeBlancs back into our deck. Just more cards that don't have puff caps. So that's always good. We're at 10. So I guess this will just level it up. And then we'll be at 13. I kind of want my LeBlanc to die so I can play another LeBlanc. But, of course, we have the mirror image. It's going to be multiple LeBlancs as well. Waiting for them to play another unit, and then I'm gonna play Mirror Image. We and I have arrived. <laughs> this is gonna be a really cool play. So we Mirror Image our LeBlanc. This should work out really well, right? Like, this all happens. So it comes in, and since it's summoned, it gets another one, and then they both strike, which then, you know, they're eight powers, so, you know, we get another Mirror Image, and we could just do that all day. <laughs> we could just keep we could just keep doing that. <laughs> it's like go ahead get get two things put two things in play. All right, so 24 <clears throat> so this won't strike anything, but we'll just put two of these ephemeral LeBlancs in play. Sure. Um, that still kills them, so we're good. Alright, so we've taken six damage, so we're at 24 going on to the next round. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, poor Braum. It's it's a LeBlanc deck now. Poor Braum. All right, what we get? Ooh, Sigil of Malice now draws a card. And we get more Sigil of Malices. That's I want more of these because they have the heal our Nexus 3. So I want more of them anyway. Um, the take card's not bad either, though. But I'm going to just get more of these. Okay, guard bots time. Plus, those things are good at, at killing turrets. Hey, 10 fans. I'm doing good. 
Yeah, Br Brahms are support. All right, we gotta kill that Heimer right away. Hmm. Let's mulligan all of these. None of these kill that Heimer. Ugh. None of those kill the Heimer. I want to like sharpen sharpened resolve would kill Heimer. There it is. All right, so they still get the four one bot. This is going to be a lot of damage. Down to 14. Time to make an so we strike the two weakest things. So this is at 12. Alright, so... Sapling doesn't... Doesn't level up. LeBlanc. So that's going to be our reputation now. Turned on. Unfortunately, the champion spells don't get the bonuses like the regular one does. Because they're, you know, like these are LeBlanc's champion spells. They, that'd be cool if they got the bonus still. They do not. Brothers born from battle. Happy to do whatever's needed. Right, so that's only four. Hmm, I gotta keep it. There's better turrets coming. So four, that's 11, we need four more. Now we got mirror image. And might as well just do it, because they're ephemeral, they just die anyway. <clears throat> so it's only gonna do 14 damage, but that'll still get us another mirror image. Will it not? I guess not. We're at 14 now. Finally, we got the Might. Been waiting for that one. That will level up. LeBlanc. So obvious. They got their two blockers. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Get another mirror image. I okay. Yeah. There we go. Zero cost mirror image. I guess so. I guess that's all right. Okay, so we're going to might. Double might. Let's 
Double mirror image. Seeing double. Unfortunately, they both die because they're ephemeral. But we get zero cost mirror image again. So good. Play some. Play another blocker. All right, cool. Nice blocker. We'll go ahead and kill that. Cool. Nice blocker. We'll go ahead and kill that. Any other blockers? Nope. Okay. Because we could kill another blocker by playing the Wild Claw. But we'll just attack with all these LeBlancs. Man, our LeBlancs are busted. But we are only at 14 life. They did, you know, like turn two, they got a good amount of damage on us. So we're only at 14 life going into the final boss. <laughs> this is a crazy combo. All right, so we get, so final boss time, we got two rerolls. Um, I mean, I kind of wanted to take Omen Hawks, get more Omen Hawks in here, honestly. I could see to go and av get double Avalanche. Because, like, turn two, because it's like turn three, we're going to start playing the Blancs, right? So, like, turn two, we could double Avalanche. I could just reroll this. Super Z says reroll. Um, because the, the thing about going with Omen Hawk. Getting more Omen Hawks, it's just like more likely that we play like turn one Omen Hawk, turn two, you know, double Omen Hawk, like that kind of stuff. Like get a bunch of Omen Hawks, turn one, turn two. Remember, each one draws a card also. Each Omen Hawk draws a card. And so, yeah, like we get blockers and they draw cards and they're going to be two twos. I kind of want that. Y'all say, y'all say reroll. I think I'm going to just take the Omen Hawks because Omen Hawks will make these bigger and the Omen Hawks making. You know, like the Bull Elnux, the Screeching Dragon's bigger, very important also. I'm going to take him. So we have two, two rerolls left over that we didn't use. Yeah, Omen Hawkai Live. Well, you can roll into worse options. But, um... Yeah, I to and then uh, honestly, to be on to, to be completely honest, I thought that we had two choices there. I thought we were going to get the Omen Hawks, and then there was another thing. I thought it, this was one of the ones like where you get two things, really. So I thought I was going to have like one more thing, like where I was going to be able to use the rerolls. I really did. So I was wrong about that. Okay, we need some Omen Hawks. Mulligan, Mulligan, Mulligan. Let's find some Omen Hawks. Come on, Omen Hawk. <laughs> I just stuck up for you so much. And we're, you're just not even going to show up? After all that? Okay, the two picks are after the bosses. That's good to know, Super Z. We need to find our uh, Healer Nexus 3 card. History forgets, but the, black rose the Sigil of Malice. I'm worried about elusives, and like we may very well lose this. I don't know, this we haven't drawn very well. Stefan, Bull Elnuck, those cards don't matter because they're gonna have like the elusive. They're gonna have Victor that has Overwhelm. All right, so it's a four six. I 
I could simply just block that. With LeBlanc and then play a new LeBlanc. It gets the plus one, plus one with the hex core upgrade. And... I guess I can make my, my LeBlanc larger there too. So 6 7 with regen. All right, just in case they pass. They may not actually attack. Okay, they did attack. Are you certain? Just put me down to seven. Do I save? I think we're okay at seven. Oh, that was lifesteal, not regen. My bad. But still, I think we're okay at seven. That's 16. right now. Yeah, so that's good. Classic Mr. All right, combo time. Combo time. Now we're at six. So I kind of need to use this shape and resolve. All right, otherwise I won't make another mirror image. Yeah. Could also just go the Ice Veil Archer. Or I guess I could just go this thing. We'll just go this thing. That's fine too. I guess that works. Ooh, Sigil of Malice. Heal our Nexus 3. Because I want them to play another, you know, I want them to play a blocker before I mirror image. But I guess I could just attack. That's so nice of them. That's so nice of them clearing up the space, so now I have room for two things. That was very kind of them. All right, looks like we're gonna win on legendary with LeBlanc and Braum. We gotta get Braum in here, right? All right, Braum is on the job. Go get him, Braum. All right, Braum strikes first. Good job, Braum. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Had to get a Braum in here. Man, that was a crazy run there. That was legendary difficulty. That was crazy with LeBlanc. So, uh, let's see, let's move my, my camera. All right, so our LeBlanc, I guess we you can see all of them on here though also. All right, so yeah, we got the sapling each round. Got free spell man every single round. That Trifarian Might was awesome. Whenever you summon a five plus power unit, it strikes the weakest enemy. That worked so well with LeBlanc because you, know, you just level up your LeBlanc so fast. Our Whenever we summon LeBlanc, we also got an ephemeral copy and it had spell shield and it had... Uh, challenger as well but yeah so we got two leblancs <laughs> they each they're both five plus power units so they strike the weakest enemy 
so therefore we were just getting the mirror images and just playing more. That was a crazy combo, these two together, with especially with getting an, an additional one. Yeah, so there we go. So that's how we do it. That was a very good Braum run. <laughs> good Braum deck. Yeah, that was crazy. All right, so there, there we go. So that was our legendary run. We got it the first time, but we did cheat just a little bit. We re-rolled a couple of times to get some Nature's Revenges in there also. Um, oh my gosh, Mervin. You are absolutely incredible, Mervin. Everybody getting gifted subs for the legendary run. Mervin, oh my gosh. That is incredible. Mervin just gifted out 50 subs. Everybody getting a sub. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Thank you, Mervin. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so there we go. There's, there's some hype to end our legendary run with Braum. Y'all watch it later on YouTube. Um, you know, hit that like button and uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think about these runs. Um, you know, what's what's been your favorite champion to go with? All that kind of stuff. So now that is going to be the second um, second champion that we've gone through with Legendary so far. We did Lucian earlier. Lucian was a little easier than the Braum. We did struggle a little bit on Heroic. We did lose twice on the Heroic, how I didn't, uh, didn't do the resetting of finding the best power. But yeah, that Legendary run was something else. All right, but everybody, thank you so much for watching the Lab of Legends with Brahms Legendary Journey. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.